Hi, thanks for watching Sibelius Tutorials. I'm Josh, and today we're going to be covering DS Alcoda and DC Alcoda markings, what they are exactly, and how to enter them into Sibelius so the software plays them back correctly. Let's start with explaining DS Alcoda and breaking down the term. DS stands for Del Segno, which in English means from the sign. Alcoda means to coda. So when you write DS Alcoda in Sibelius, when Sibelius hits DS Alcoda, it is going to go back to the segno and play back from there instead of the beginning of the score. It will then play back till it hits the two coda. When the playback hits two coda, it will skip into the coda marking. If you do not write this correctly in Sibelius, you will have issues with it not playing back correctly. Let's go ahead and build this step by step in the software. Here we have a lead sheet where I want to use a DSL coda on my score. I want the score to play back verse and chorus twice, which I use the repeat markings as you see, but after the second chorus, I want it to play the bridge, go back to chorus, and then jump to the outro. This is when that DS Alcoda will come in handy. In Sibelius, let's first press escape three times to make sure that nothing is selected. Go to the text ribbon tab and go to styles. You can find your Coda textile under the Comments section or the Tempo section. When your cursor turns blue, click in Sibelius where you want to enter in the DSL Coda. In this case, I'm going to want to enter this in after the bridge. When you get the blinking carrot, right click or control click to bring up the menu. In the menu, choose DSL Coda. So when the score hits DSL Coda, it's going to jump back to wherever the signal marking is which I'm going to show you how to enter in now. Go back and select the Coda textile, right click or control click, and this time choose Segno marking. Place the Segno marking to where you want Sibelius to jump back to. Now in my score, I want it to play back this chorus section and jump to the outro instead of playing the chorus again. This is when I'll add the two Coda. Let's choose our Coda textile and choose two Coda from the menu. And we're going to place this at the end of the chorus. Go ahead and choose the Coda textile again, and this time choose the Coda marking. Place this at the outro. Let's play this back now. As we watch, Sibelius will repeat using the repeat markings. When we hit DS Alcoda, it will jump back to the Segno. And then when we hit the Tukoda, we jump to the Coda, which is the outro. To explain DC Alcoda, this is very similar to DS Alcoda, but instead, when it hits DC Alcoda, it jumps back to the beginning rather than DS Alcoda that jumps back to the Segno. DC Alcoda stands for Decapo Alcoda, which in English means go back to the beginning and play back till it reaches the first coda. Let's demonstrate this. Delete the Segno that is not needed. And let's edit our DS Alcoda and change this to DC Alcoda. Now, when we play back, when Sibelius hits DC Alcoda, it will jump back to the beginning. And when it hits Coda, it jumps to the Coda marking as shown here. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to receive constant updates when new Sibelius tutorials are released. I'm Josh and I'll see you guys next week.